From the windowless cubicle of Rock Obscurity, to the small but air-conditioned office of Rock's middle management, to the executive washroom of Rock Vice Presidency, back down to the file cabin of poorly alphabetized Manila failure, the members of IROC have sucked as badly as anyone, all without ever leaving home. Their story is next on Behind the Local Music That Sucks. Two, three, four! Hey, man. Solid! Growing up in suburban Scranton, Brett Reinhardt learned early on to trust no one except his own d- Yeah, when it comes to porkin', me and Wonderboy here are the mayor of Ham City. F***ing A. Yeah, more like the mayor of Hand City. <laughs> yeah, his mom's hand. He wishes it was my mom's hand. Say that shit again. No, seriously, say it again. What, you suck your sister's t- Feel the farts, ass jack! Yeah, Brett rules! <gasps> like many great things that got their start in humble surroundings, I rock which was also great, also got its start in surroundings. Humble ones. For the founding members of IROC, it all started way back in high school. So I'm at Randy's, waiting for the ground effects job on my ride to get finished, when I see this f***ing fag looking at me. Yeah, more like you're the fag, Mr. Faggity Purple Fag Car Fag. Yeah, after I banged your mom in the back seat. More like your mom in the butt. But they both agreed on one very important thing. Pantera rules. Pantera does f- Rule, man. Brett and Darren knew they needed more horsepower to take IROC to the red line of its potential. Darren wanted to have tryouts and sh- but I owed Kyle from that time he got me the Slayer tickets, and AJ said me and Stacy could use his trailer when he was working. He was like, Kyle, Kyle. And I was like, what? And he was like, Kyle. And I was like, what? With AJ and Kyle riding shotgun and a tank full of ambition, IROC turned its attention to Best. You said you were gonna bring those pretzels to practice, and then I find the empty bag in your truck? Oh yeah, like you didn't finish those new ports we all pitched in for. And while the band's early days were sometimes rocky, their jams were also rocky. Hard rocky. Because for iRock, it was always about the rock. Two, three, four! Hey, man. Solid! But dreams and talent alone don't buy Baby a new pair of shoes. Fortunately, Scranton music legends Sizzler were there to help. Luckily, luck was wearing a four-leaf clover and smelling of decayed flesh. When Sizzler went down, Stacy heard from Mandy that Dale and Shane, out of the track, had to cover the gig and needed somebody bad. Not as bad as your ass smells. So why are you licking the mushrooms out of it all the time, fag? The super tanker of superstardom had dry docked for Ira. We would have made it if somebody hadn't been too busy jacking his dog off to pick me up. Oh, yeah, well, like you weren't jacking off your mom and your mom's dog and your mom's dog's balls. Oh, that's it. Somebody's gonna have to get beat. So while they may never have sipped sweet wine from fame's golden chalice, or ridden high on the roller coaster called Six Flags Over Stardom... Oh, f***. Dude, what the hell? No, no, it's good. It's good. I got it. I got it. It's all good. I got it. So though I rock sweet wine... No, uh, wait. Uh, the roller coaster of I rocks... Um, have we gotten... Have I said that bit about the fame rainbow yet? Oh, f***. And now, this editorial rebuttal. Hey, hold on, man. I would really like to ejaculate the following rebuttal. First of all, I was like, Darren, Darren, because he was all like, Kyle. And I was like, F***ing A. I rock rules forever.